Pit stop drama, Pirelli problems, and one very pleased Perez. Baku 2021 had it all as the late drama unfurled, and one of the most historically unpredictable race venues was, well, predictably unpredictable. I'm Ollie Wilson for GP fans, and this is all the fallout from arguably the race of the season so far, the Azerbaijan Grand Prix. There will be plenty to talk about after this race, so hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with all of our content. And now, let's get right into all of the action. Mercedes team principal Toto Wolff has revealed both he and Lewis Hamilton have been left destroyed by a late race error from the seven-time Formula One world champion that dropped him to the back of the pack from a potential winning position. When a tyre blowout on Max Verstappen's Red Bull caused the Azerbaijan Grand Prix to be red flagged with just three laps remaining, Hamilton was in second place and in a position to retake the championship lead he lost in Monaco. However, upon the restart, Hamilton unwittingly knocked the magic switch on his steering wheel that dramatically adjusts the brake bias forwards. Although briefly stealing the lead from Sergio Perez, the Mercedes driver was helpless as his brakes locked and he slid into the Turn 1 runoff. Both of us are destroyed, to be honest, said Wolf. But it is for him, obviously, as a driver. You have it so close, and then it's all gone. And for me, as a guy who is running this, we just need to be the best of us. The best that we have, and we haven't given the drivers a competitive package this weekend. Far from a competitive package. That is the frustration. It is not only the incident at the end that frustrates, it is overall not meeting our own expectations, all of us together. Lewis, the engineers, myself, everyone in the team. This was arguably one of Toto Wolff's toughest days. Over the past seven years, Mercedes has rarely experienced an off day, let alone a pair of consecutive forgettable weekends, especially when you think back to Monaco, and the irremovable front right tyre from Valtteri Bottas's car that caused that frustrating pit stop and eventually led to the Finnish driver's retirement. They are the toughest because not having performance in Monaco and Valtteri, who would have made it solid onto the podium needing a pit stop of 36 hours, is not really a great achievement based on the standards that we are setting ourselves, added Wolf. Then, a car that was almost all sessions nowhere and, to be honest, cruising in third, and even trying to make it was okay, but it's just not acceptable that we're not getting the car into a performing position out of the start or out of the pit stop. It is just we are losing seconds over seconds to get the car in a happy window where it functions. It just takes too long. Elsewhere on the pit wall, Christian Horner revealed he felt Red Bull could only lose after seeing Max Verstappen pitched into the wall by a dramatic tyre blowout in the closing stages of the Azerbaijan Grand Prix. Verstappen had led for much of the race and looked set to lead home the team's first 1-2 in Formula 1 since 2016, until the incident which caused a red flag and left Sergio Perez and Lewis Hamilton in a two-lap fight to the finish. Horner told Sky Sports F1, I think I've aged about 20 years. We had everything in control and then boom, the tyre went. It looked like the wear was all in good shape, a big place to have an accident, and thankfully, he's okay. We were managing the tyre pretty well, so you can see it's suddenly deflated. Whether it's a bit of debris from the shunt Lance Stroll had earlier, you just don't know. The feeling at that point was like the world's just dropped from under us. You thought we could only lose when they've got the restart, but thankfully, it all worked out tremendously well, and Sergio did a great, great job. Sergio Perez certainly delivered the goods with an amazing drive to the chequered flag. Horner praised Perez for a stunning race to victory after the Mexican put himself in a position to inherit the lead, then fend off Hamilton at the restart, as well as manage a hydraulic issue through to the end. Hamilton put in a strong challenge off the line at the restart, only to lock his brakes and slide straight on at the first corner. I'm just so pleased with Sergio, added Horner. His races have been so strong, and today he absolutely delivered. At the restart, we were just praying that the hydraulic pressure that we were all glued to for the last couple of laps just stayed there, and it was fantastic to see him cross the line. He won that on merit. He has been quick all weekend, 
The only lap he didn't get right was the quali one yesterday, the first run in Q3. His pace was stunning in the race. He's a wily driver, a canny racer. He races really well. So who was your driver of the day in Baku? Did Perez's race winning drive usurp the exceptional delivery from Sebastian Vettel, grabbing Aston Martin's first ever podium? How will Mercedes bounce back in France in a fortnight's time? Let us know in the comments section below and we'll be discussing it all on the GP Fans Steward Room podcast this week. Make sure you join us for the debate.